purpose of that text message was not to show whether or not Lauren Kanarek had actually been asked to leave the property or not. It obviously goes to the defendant was not looking to get rid of her because he was not in fear. He did not have a reasonable belief that he had to act in self-defense. So that text message goes to show his state of mind. It is not offered, I recognize it came in that way, but it's not offered to show whether or not she was actually told because her state of mind, whether she was actually told or not, has no relevance really or bearing on his guilt or not guilt. Judge, it's, that's not the impression that was created with that text that I objected to. The, the says official, the jury has the impression that up until right before the shooting, no one ever told Canarac to leave. And that's a conversation they had with my client. And I can't put my client on. You can. I can, Judge. That's your, you not choose on. not to. That's, that's choose, up to you. So I don't say you can't to. put him on. You so can. So by letting that text in, Judge, it creates a prejudicial impression that Barrison basically was sitting on his hands, which again falls into the line of what the prosecutor was saying, that he wasn't afraid. And, and she was told by different people, you know, that Barrison... I know, but, but, but here's the thing. Her state of mind... Canarac's state of mind, that's not really an issue. It's, it's Mr. Barrison's state of mind. Yeah, I'm talking about Mary Haskins Gray, Judge. When she, if when you she, want to ask her, if she asked Ms. Canarac to leave, you can do that. That's her testimony. She did it. She can tell you about it, when it happened, where it happened, what the reaction was. But can't she also explain, Judge? That, that word with regards to official, that she was aware that other people... No. All right. I, I made my because how, how, does she, how does she get that information from She's other people? It doesn't matter. It's still hearsay. If you want to call other people in to testify about it, then call other people. You can't bring out your whole case through one witness and say, well, it's other people. It's inappropriate. He can't cross-examine that. You want to bring in a meeting that she wasn't even attending. That's complete hearsay. I'm not going to allow it. You can ask this witness if she did and when she did it and the circumstances. That much I'll allow. But not other people. Understood. All right. Be back at uh, 120 so we can start at 130.